Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this kind of like cut crease, teal, and gold look. It was a little bit different. I'm trying to, you know, experiment with some different colors and some different designs to show you guys. I hope that you guys like it. I just was playing around and came up with this and this is what it came out to look like. So if you guys like to get this look, please keep watching. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with this off-white color. It's called Bone from Ulta. And I'm going to take a large shadow brush and just put that all over my lid. It's going to help blend out the colors. Next for my Manly palette, I'm going to take this turquoise color on a small angled liner brush. And I'm going to start and just draw a line slightly over my crease and go into the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take it and just blend that out and work that a little bit more into my crease. I'm going to blend that up a little bit just to get a more gradient color. Next from that same palette, I'm going to take this orange gold color and I'm just going to pat that right on my lid. And when I use colors like these, I take a little bit of eye drops and I dip my brush in it and then dip it into the shadow so it helps bring out the color and it helps it stick onto the eye better. So we're just going to keep packing that color right on and then we're going to blend it up into the teal color and we're going to draw a line right under that color. All right, so I'm gonna take that teal color and just blend it in a little bit more with that yellow gold. I wanna make sure that it is nice and blended. I swear that is the key to any look, is to make sure you blend, blend, blend. You'll have a nice gradient color flow and it'll just look flawless. Next from that same palette, I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush. This one happens to be from MAC, it's number 217. And I'm gonna take it in a light blue color and then I'm gonna dust that right under the brow and into the blue color and just blend it out some more. Next I'm going to take a liner and this one is from Cargo, it's just my black pencil liner and I'm going to take that right under the yellow gold and just draw some liner on. I'm doing this very lightly just so I get a nice point to the end to flow into the other two colors. I go over it a few times just to make sure that it is a nice bold black and there's no fallout from the shadow. Sorry I cut this part off but next I'm just going to take a pointed pencil brush and some black shadow and this is going to be a matte black shadow and this color is from Mary Kay called Storm and I'm just going to take that and pat that right along my waterline. Next, I'm going to take some mascara and prep my eyes before I put my lashes on. And I'm using Maybelline Great Lashes in Fig, which is very in the color very black. 
Then I'm gonna pop those bad boys on, and as always, I am using my Ardell Wispies. These are my absolute favorite, favorite lashes of all time. Stacking them is awesome too. I'll make a video next time and I will put two together and show you guys how awesome look it is. I am also using Ardell Lash Grip to um, as to for adhesive for the lashes. And then I just take some liner and I go right over the lash line just to make sure that it's nice and blended in with my liner. Now I'm going to take this new mascara I got from Urban Decay and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the top of my lashes to blend in with my falsies and then coat the bottom lashes. Holding the brush vertical too is really awesome because a lot of the time the mascara will clump on the tip of the brush and I hold it vertical and kind of sweep it along the lashes and it gets a nice coat on there and then you can do vert horizontally and then brush it out. So that is the final eye. Let's get into the face. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal in the color, uh, let's see, totally forgot, in a 30 light medium. And I'm just going to apply that under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. I'm just going to take my da damp beauty blender and blend it all in. Next from my Kat Von D Contour Palette, I'm going to take the middle shade, which is the banana shade, and put that on where I put my concealer to set it. Then next I'm going to take a darker shade on the palette and start contouring. I'm going to put this under my cheekbones. On the sides of my forehead. I'm just going to blend that in along my temples and back down to where I put it under my cheeks. I'm going to squeeze the end of the brush with no other product on and I'm just going to run that on the side of my nose to give it a little bit more of a contoured look. Next we're going to start off with lips. I am taking my MAC pencil in the color Subculture and this is my absolute favorite, favorite lip liner. It matches my lips perfectly so I'm just going to be filling in my lips with this. Next I'm going to take MAC's color in Honey Love and this matches sub Subculture perfectly. Then on top of that I'm going to put Sugar Frosting from Revlon. I'm going to finish off with some blush. Am I using my Universal Blush from So Susan? And of course, highlighting with my The Balm Mary Luminizer. I'm going to put that over my cheekbones, on the edge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and actually a little bit right under my brow. This is the final look. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you guys want me to do any other different colors or any kind of other looks for you, just comment below and I will definitely read them. And make sure that you guys go check out my Facebook page and beauty and follow me on Instagram for my latest updates. Make sure that you subscribe if you already haven't. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.